strike. Like maybe a change up again from Newby. I mentioned that I played for the Winnipeg Whips mm -hmm. back in the day. That would and, be uh, cold up oh, there too. We used to build a fire <laughs> in a bullpen. We've always, you know, pitchers are, are a different animal. This one lined in the left center field. Applegate will have to let it drop in front of him. And with one out, runners at first and second after a single by Haynes. I tell you, these Lexington Catholic hitters are doing a good job of keeping that front side in against a, a guy that, uh, like you said, uh, not only throws from down under, but he throws across his body and is actually stepping towards the hitter when he throws. So tough guy to stay in on. And he's long and lean, and, and, and that, that arm's coming from, it seems like, behind you. Mm -hmm. And it brings up now Trey Miller. Miller had a little pop-up to the shortstop his first time up. The first pitch is out of the way from Miller. So Miller's 0 for 1 this afternoon. In case you're joining us just now here on the network, we are in the bottom of the third inning, Lexington Catholic, the host school here in Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky. Up on Farragut out of Knoxville, Tennessee's area. Three to nothing here. 2-0 and oh now to Miller. Is that, is that Nash? Oh, it is. It, I'm sorry. I apologize. Nick Nash. I'm sitting here. Can't even read my own writing. Swing and a miss. 2-1 now to Nash. That's a pretty good pitch on a 2-0 count. Really Coach, was. Coach, wasn't a – Expecting maybe fastball and got a breaking pitch. Just found out this is Cotton Nash's grandson. Cotton Nash. Hello. Was a, if you're a Kentucky fan, yeah. you better know who Cotton Nash is, a basketball fan anyway. Yeah, and not only was Cotton a great basketball player, a two or three time All American, he mm -hmm. was also a great baseball player and played in the big leagues with the Minnesota Twins. Now that, now that was a fact I was not aware of. Yeah. I got uh, the honor of meeting uh, Cotton Nash uh, about seven or eight years ago. One of my favorite all-time players. Pitch, strike three, calling three straight breaking pitches on the inside corner, caught him looking. And Cotton was a pretty good scorer in his day at UK. He I mean, was. He averaged about 30 a game. He was fun to watch. Very athletic guy, very strong, physical guy, but also, also could really shoot it. Now, if I'm not mistaken, when he pre-Rupps runs or he's just right after them? He was pre-Rupps runs. Yeah. Couldn't remember if... Knew the era somewhere in there. So two down now, and this will bring up Logan Taylor, the leadoff man. Good idea by Logan dropping that ball down the line like that. Just missed a uh, – just a, just a great idea with two men on. And uh, even the, even though there's, you know, two outs, you get the third baseman back and yeah. you can make some things happen. And even if he makes a play on you and throws you out to end the inning, you've got the heart of your order coming up right. in the bottom of the next inning. So two men out, two runners on at first and second. An 0-1 count on Taylor, who is one for one with a walk. He singled and scored in the first, walked in the second, and was caught stealing. Breaking pitch away from him, evens the count of ball and a strike. So Jordan Newby in relief of Kyle Serrano who I would assume would probably was close to the pitch counter, maybe even a little bit over. This one lying down the right field line, Schutler on his horse, and it goes off his glove, and it'll be a fair ball. One run will score, and they'll hold the runner up at third. As Schutler was on his way, and that wind was pushing it towards that right field line, and he just hit it as it was going into foul territory. It would have probably look like it was going to drop maybe just inside the foul line. Darren, you were very astute in mentioning before the game started that that win might be a factor, and it has been a factor this past inning for sure as two right fielders have, uh, have made errors because of the wind blowing the ball to right field as it has. So a double for Taylor and an RBI. It's 4 to nothing Lexington Catholic, and now Riley Jackson can really put the pressure on this Farragut offense coach if he can get a single here, a hit of any length out into the outfield because – Two runs could score. This one hard hit right at Senzel. And on to, Cham or to Chambers, who comes off the bag and makes the tag of Jackson. 
So Catholic will get a run to push it to four to nothing after four. It's Knights four, Admirals nothing. Back with the top of the fifth inning. On the perfect game, E-Coach Game of the Week, powered by I-High. 